aim to be a Pokemon master episode 3 has revealed that Brock has been kidnapped. Boy ain't no way boy. Boy ain't no way boy. This situation is way bigger than it seems as it's up to Ash, Misty and Silon to defeat the crazy culprit. As Ash Ketchum continues his quest around the Pokemon world, he now has the addition of his good old pal, Misty, who has joined him on his new adventure. And I mean, there was no way she wasn't going to join him. Just look at that embarrassed face. However, it seems like what's coming up next in this adventure is going to be absolutely crazy. After 8 whole years, Brock and Silent both return together for a special episode. Our Chad Brock has been rejected. What a surprise, and it's by his crush. Nope, not you Lucy, nope, not you Olivia, and nope, not you random girl. Mission failed, we'll get him next time. But his new crush. Even Nurse Joy is straight up rejecting our boy. It's just not his day, leaving Brock completely depressed. I'm sure Ash and Misty will try their best to help him through this. Even though Brock's depressed, he's acting a bit weird, as we see him leaping and jumping happily after Hatterene in Gleamwood Forest. This only means one thing, the depressed Brock was mind controlled earlier by Hattery. And I'm not joking because when have you seen a man that happy after being rejected? So if Brock was mind controlled, how did it happen? When there's a mystery to be solved, who is the best to call? That's right, the detective connoisseur, Silent. That's what I'm talking about! That's why he's the MVP! That's why he's the GOAT! The GOAT! I'm so happy he's back for a full episode, as it's been so long. What well, a perfect way to put his endless skills to the test because I believe that Silent will figure out what's up with Brock and the strange hattery. In the Gleamwood Forest, our heroes happen to find a Hatena who seems upset. And I know this because its sad face says everything. Though, Hatena and Hatterene are not the only Pokemon from this evolution line in this episode as things just got a whole lot worse. Hatrim is here pulling up to fight and she ain't playing around because no matter who you are, if you bring strong emotions near this Pokemon, it will silence you violently. This mystery for real got serious quick. But don't underestimate our detective connoisseur Silent because his trusty partner Pansage is here to battle by his side. This battle is definitely going to be an interesting one. So, with all of this going on, where is Brock? Well, I'm glad you asked because with Brock being mind controlled by Hatterene, it only means for one outcome and that's Brock betraying our heroes. Fighting against Ash, Misty and Silent. Who would have thought to see the day? Brock Steelix is coming with the heat as it summons stone edges from the ground attacking Ash and everyone. No one and I mean no one saw this coming but the team is going to have to work together to stop not just Brock and Steelix but the deadly forest witch Hatterene and its menacing mind control powers. If you're too loud around it, you risk being torn apart by the claws on its tentacle. Everyone is literally on the verge of a situation being much greater than what we all expected. Hatterene's powers could completely wipe everyone from existence. And if you think that's the worst, there's one more thing. With Hatterene mind controlling Brock, there's a major chance that this Pokemon could control Brock to use Mega Evolution with Steelix. And if that's the case, then we really are in big trouble. It's down to Silent and his detective skills to help the little Hatana and calm down his fellow friends. I can't wait to see what happens. This episode is looking amazing. With the new addition of Silent to the group, you know there won't be any dull moments. Ash, you better bring your Melmetal to the party because that super effective power is gonna be needed. As always, I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think about episode 3 with the crazy forest witch Hatterene and Silent's return? Comment them all down below. It's been your boy Orizora and if you like crazy mysteries in Pokemon, I recommend you check this video about the first time ever Ash Ketchum died.